You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store if you want it. I gave them the drill, they sucked it up, I got them on it. I bought a new bed, I got had the white, so I two tone them. Taking the drills, I'm gonna be up until the morning. Then ain't your car, you just a lease, so you don't own it. If I'm in the club, I got that five on the Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Sunday. This vlog is going to be just like a getting myself back together. Like a post vacation reset vlog. Um, I was in Miami for like seven days. So I'm back home finally. And I just need to get myself together. I need to get caught back up with work. I need to clean my apartment. Like it's just things I need to do. Today is Sunday, May 7th, 9.50 a.m. And I'm actually about to head out and go to church. So I'll probably see you after church. I just wanted to start off this vlog. Let y'all know how it was going to be going. And yeah, I will see y'all um, after church. Come rewind up. Girl, I get the money where you make your mind up. Give your love in every night if you make your mind up. Now only you give me love when make me nice, so oh, nice, so oh, nice, so oh, I feel make your mind up. Girl, I love you, plus I never make your mind up. If I let you smoke it, you gon' lose my lighter. If you paranoid, then I'ma spend a night. You gon' get that love in every day. Oh, it's hot today, y'all. 85 degrees. I really enjoy it, though. I'd be excited to go. I got four Celsius. I got the cola, this grape, Fiji apple, and then this is a new one, sparkling mango passion fruit. This is a new one, sparkling mango passion fruit. This water was on sale, but I want to get one free, so I got four of those. Two things of rosemary. I got some maple ham, and I also got this spicy like garlic ham and pepper jack cheese for sandwiches. Also got some barbecue chips for the sandwich. Honey wheat bread for the sandwich. This cinnamon raisin bread was on sale, but I wouldn't get one free, so I got two of those. Watch my Miami vlogs, then you know that I was liking the ginger shot, so these were buy one get one free, so I got four. These are the brand Suja, and then these are the brand Arden's Garden. Got some grapes. Pineapple, strawberry, and mandarin orange mix. Butter. Two of these essential waters. Lettuce. These were on sale two for ten. These are really good. This is the crispy honey chicken. And I've never had the spicy noodles, but I'm going to try this together probably one day for lunch or something. I just feel like this angle is not good. <laughs> I'm sitting on the balcony and I hope y'all can hear me but I really just wanted to sit out here just to get the last little bit of sun the sun is getting ready to set in a minute it's 7 39 I think the sun set around like 8 o'clock right now but yeah so today's just been a real chill day I think I started off this vlog this morning telling y'all I was headed to church church was really really good the message for today was basically talking about like um approval addiction like how some people are really just addicted to validation and being approved by people that don't even matter and just a whole bunch of other stuff so it was a really 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 good word and then after that i'm pretty sure i did a montage of me just going to the grocery store picking up some things and then i know i did the haul so yeah today's just been like just like a sunday reset not really i'm probably gonna do most of my reset and tomorrow like unpacking the luggage mm, don't feel like unpacking but just like unpacking the luggage and just getting myself together tomorrow is actually the day which I kind of forgot and then I kind of remember because I looked it up 
but tomorrow is actually the day that the Sephora squad people are going to announce the I guess the final list and then some I forgot the day in June but in June they're going to announce the official people that made it so that got me like a little bit nervous but I really haven't been given like that too much thought because I just had so many other things going on y'all know I'm trying to move and just other things going on in my personal life so I haven't had the time to be anxious about that so I'm really appreciative for that and not to say I don't want the opportunity I mean by now we know whether I'm a finalist or not but not to say I don't like want the opportunity because I would love the opportunity but I just it's one of those things where I'm not going to beat myself up about it you know like if if they choose me they choose me if they don't then maybe next time I'm not like going to be but hurt about it and I'm really happy about that because I'm learning that it's rejection isn't always a bad thing and I feel like you need to get comfortable with rejection not saying that I want to be rejected because I've, I've had my share of rejection y'all know I've been going through it with these apartments so I've definitely had my share of rejection but I just feel like um Rejection isn't always a bad thing and you need to get kind of comfortable with rejection because it happens. It's a way of life. It's a part of life and it is what it is, you know? So, we shall see. I don't know how it works. Like, I don't know if they're going to, you're going to get an email. Like, I have no idea how it works. Now, me just realizing my shirt matches the, the background. Real quick, y'all. I just realized that, I swear to God, he didn't want to come on a balcony until I was on a balcony. I said, I'm going to go on a balcony, talk to my vlog. Are you kidding me right now? Hey, I'm going to go back in. I'm just going out for this. I had to put my hands soup up a little. A little. I wanted to tell y'all that today we hit 89,000 subscribers. Like, I just cannot believe I have 89,000 subscribers. Well, actually, right now I have 89,000 in 27 like that means we need less than a less than 11,000 subscribers to be at a hundred thousand like <clears throat> I'm so excited for us like we're just growing and I just feel like the people that's subscribing to my channel are I feel like the people that's like subscribing to my channel really want to be here you know they're, they're engaging and they're supportive and I'm so thankful for y'all. Like, I love y'all so much, and I know y'all love me, because if not, y'all wouldn't be here. And I'm just so appreciative. Like, I feel like every vlog, I've just been telling y'all how thankful I am for y'all, because I truly am. Like, truly, truly are thankful. Truly am thankful. <laughs> and I just love y'all. And yeah, I cannot wait till we hit 100,000 subscribers, because we're definitely going to be doing a giveaway. I want to give away something that I like. Y'all know me. Like, I'm not... I want to give y'all something I would want myself. So, maybe like some really nice perfume or like a bag or just like a... Just... Personal, I love to like curate boxes of stuff. So, maybe we can do like a bunch of just different stuff you know what i mean like i might unpack my stuff tonight only because tomorrow i want to hit the ground running tomorrow like i want to get back into the routine thing i don't want to still be like resetting trying to get shit done so i might unpack my stuff tonight y'all look at my legs <laughs> look at this one swoop y'all know I like my braids because one thing, if, if y'all know anything about me, it's I'm going to take my hair out. But I'm really happy with my braids. Like, I haven't been able to. Oh, speaking of braids, I got some hair in today that I'm going to share with y'all. I got I got a lot of stuff I want to show y'all. I feel like it's so noisy. You got the dishwasher going. Dion making a bunch of noise. But I want to unbox. I want to unbox. I want to unbox this bag with y'all that I bought in Miami. I, um, now he in the background. Oh, so if you watch the Miami vlog, I told y'all I wanted like this toiletry pouch thing to put like lip glosses in to carry, um, inside of my purse. Well, when I got to Louis Vuitton, they did have what I was looking for, but I seen this bag 
and I really like that bag because I was in search for like a like an everyday bag. My camera that y'all on right now, the camera that I like to vlog with right now, is pretty big. So I can't carry a lot of my purses like on an everyday basis because I'm always vlogging. So I wanted a cute bag that I could fit all my stuff in, my tripod, my light, my camera. You know, like just like a cute everyday bag. So I seen this one and it came with a pouch. So I didn't have to buy the pouch. So this is the box. I did end up having to get it shipped to me because I could not fit it um, in my suitcase. So this is the little desk bag. And this bag is called the Carry All. It's kind of like a play on a Neverfull, but it's, it's the, y'all. How, this bag is so cute to me. It just gives me like, grown woman every day running your errands i love the fact that it has like feet on it and i absolutely love how it fits on my shoulder it's on my shoulder so good i'm able to carry all of my items in it and it's just a cute like It's just a cute like everyday bag, like an everyday bag that I can carry every single day with all of my stuff in it. So yeah, that is the bag. Oh, and let me show y'all the pouch. It doesn't have a zipper on it, it has like a, a clasp and then it also has this thing that you can tie your sliding down. And then let me show y'all, like how freaking cute, I love this. And they have a bigger one too y'all, like the bigger one gave me like diaper bag vibes it was really really big i felt like this was the perfect size and it comes with hold on let me unhook it so it also comes with this thing which you can wear around your wrist like this like for a night out if you just want to carry like some cash and a lip gloss in your wallet or whatever the case may be love this because this is what i was looking for and i could put this in a bunch of my other purses too this is what the inside looks like i'm uh -uh. hey don't be sniffing my new bag you need a haircut sebastian 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 i bet you mufasa come mufasa hey fasa wasa this is the bag. I told you it was called the Carry All. It's the PM. I think you can scan it to get it to pop right up. But I'm about to. I'm gonna keep the dust bag. But I'm gonna throw this box away. So yeah, let's throw this away. Cause. Hey y'all. So. I just got back from my ex neighbor's house. It was um, his birthday. So we went over there, played a few games of Uno. We also played this game called, um, mm, what was the game called? Something, something humanity, Cards Against Humanity, something like that. But I want to tell y'all a story. I want to find something on my lips first. Hold on. I was on TikTok and I seen this girl talking about how she like created a password with God and basically she created this password with God so like um you know just to like give her a sign let her know she's on the right track whatever whatever and I forgot what her password was but it was something like really unique something she wouldn't see every day something she wouldn't hear every day so when she did she knew you know it was God speaking to her or whatever so that really intrigued me. I was like, I want to do that. And this was a while ago, so I can't remember exactly what I made this password for. But knowing me, I made it for, like, okay, so I'm gonna, my password was Ladybug. I'm just going to tell you what it was. So I created my password, and my password was a Ladybug. Like, the word Ladybug, seeing Ladybug, something Ladybug. Because I don't, like, that's just not a word that I use in my vocabulary. People around me use. I don't see ladybugs, nothing. So, that's what came to my head. So, I'm pretty sure I was like, God, right, my password is going to be ladybug. Let me see a ladybug or hear the word ladybug or something ladybug just to let me know, you know, I'm on the right track with life. You know, <coughs> I'm on the right track. Like, things are 
going good. Like, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. You know what I mean? So, y'all, so long goes by. I remember, like, the first couple days. I remember specifically, like, a day or so after I made this password, I was in um, Home Goods. It was a Home Goods and a THJ Max put together, and I was like in the checkout line, and I was looking at everything, y'all. Like I was looking at the mugs, I was looking at tissue paper, cause I was just really trying to see this ladybug. Cause I'm like, Ooh, I want to know if I'm on the right path. Like I just, I want to see a ladybug. So I was looking at everything, did not see a ladybug nowhere in that store, and I kept like obsessing about it, like looking for ladybugs, blah 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 blah. Never seen nothing till I forgot about it. I literally forgot. I even, you know, that whole thing even happened. I forgot I created the password because I didn't hear no lady button, nothing. Yesterday, I'm watching Platinum D's video like I always do. And when she, after her um, sponsors, the vlog started and the vlog started with her talking about how she dropped a ladybug perfume. And I was like, wow, that's a coincidence. Like the word triggered me so much because it just instantly reminded me of that's your password like that's your password but I was just like Gray's been so long like don't even worry about it like it don't even matter no more like it's it's expired you know what I mean like it's expired so I didn't think nothing of it I was just like whatever like it's expired today I'm at my next ex neighbor's house and we just chilling and they open the door um cause he said it was getting hot, so he opened the door. Couple minutes later, something flew in. I was like, oh, it's a moth, because it was all by the light. Like, it was just, like, kept going by the light, kept going by the light. So, his girlfriend walked over there to see, like, what it was and try to hit it or whatever. And she was like, oh, it's just a ladybug. And I was like, what? It's a what? I'm not saying nothing to nobody. I'm just in my head. I'm like, you know what? Let me see what ladybug mean. Like, let me just look up the meaning of ladybug because I never looked up the meaning. I just picked it because it was the first thing kind of popped in my head. So, ladybug symbolizes protection, healing, good fortune, and grace. And I just feel like I just wanted to document this because I feel like... This week is going to be such a great week for me. I feel like I'm going to get good news. And I just feel like... I just feel like I'm on the right track. I just, and, and I really... I feel like I've been going through so much. That I really just needed God to just give me a sign. To let me know like... You're on the right track for real. Like through everything. All those things can look a little... Eh. Things are still good, so I'm in high, 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 high expectations of a great week and great news. So I just wanted to share that. I just wanted to share that so y'all can be a witness to what God's going to do for me. Because, yeah. <laughs> but I said all that to say, like, I'm excited for the week ahead. I've already said that, though, but I'm, I'm really excited for the week ahead now. Like, I want to go to sleep and wake up like it's the first day of school. You know what I mean? I just feel like now more than ever, I really need that validation. Like, I just need that. Like, I need that. Like, yeah, you're doing the right thing. You, you, you're you on the right track. Like, I really, really need that. So, <sighs> yeah, y'all. And I also, today, I decided I'm fasting. I had been wanting to fast, but I had to pick something that... I wanted to pick something that I loved. Um, and that would kind of be a challenge a little bit. So I picked TikTok. <laughs> I picked TikTok because TikTok is... It's what I do when I'm bored, when I'm in awkward situations, when I'm just chilling. Like, I love to be on TikTok. I love showing on TikTok. I just love being on TikTok. So, today's Sunday. So, from Sunday to Sunday, I will not be on TikTok because I am fasting from it. And, yeah. I'm on the way um, to tour an apartment. I applied for an apartment, but... Yeah, no. Oh God. So I I applied for an apartment and hopefully I'll hear back from them today. However, 
we just need to keep our options open, you know? So I'm on the way to look at this apartment. It's actually not an apartment. Like it's in an apartment complex, but it's actually what I'm looking at is a townhome. So we'll, we'll see. Look at this closet, y'all. Look at all the built-in. And I was thinking about getting an IKEA system. I would not need an IKEA system. This is an IKEA system. Wow. No, and I like the fact that I have drawers too for like your underwear and stuff. Very nice. The fridge is kind of Let me see. Oh, girl, these stairs gonna kick my butt. The only thing I don't like about the kitchen is the dark cabinets. Yeah. I just feel like, hey, Ours look. White. Yeah, y'all are white. They look old. Hmm. The unit next door might have different colors. Yeah. Um, Fireplace. There's stairs that go down, and now <sighs> there's stairs that go up. So this is the closet in another room. Still pretty big. There. You got a tub and a shower and a sink over here and a sink over here. So as far as that townhouse goes, I have my thoughts. There are things I really love about it and there's things I do not like about it. Um, the main thing I did not like about it was the cabinet color. It was like this dark oak like color, which I could fix that. I could do... Um, I could fix the cabinets, you know, if I wanted to. And I also didn't like that the walls weren't white. They were like this, hmm. I don't want to say yellow. <coughs> I don't want to say yellow, but they, they weren't white. So I feel like it kind of like darkened up the place. Now what I did like about it is, it's huge. It's over 3,000 square feet. So way more than enough space i love the fact that at this point if i was to go with that apart that townhouse i would be able to have a guest bedroom because it's a three bedroom three and a half bathroom and there's this area downstairs that half of it i would use for my office and then the other half and then the other half i would use for my closet and since it already has these built-ins i would not have to you know get like a pack system or do anything because everything I, I love the way it's built in like it's perfect i absolutely love that so that's a plus um it had a fireplace which that was i, I really don't care about that but like i said there's things i like and there's things i love and there's things i don't like so um i just have to see i'm here at the next apartment y'all they say now open but they're still building these apartments so i don't we are gonna see oh i'm so hot okay so that apartment was cute but it wasn't it's not the apartment for us i'm about to make a sandwich well two sandwiches because i'm hungry it's 1 p.m i haven't eaten anything so I'm gonna have two sandwiches and some chips. I have some pepper jack cheese that I got. So I'm gonna do one sandwich with the pepper jack cheese. And then I'm gonna do the other one with just regular yellow American. Not eat a sandwich without mustard y'all like I just actually cannot Ugh. and then I got the garlic the spicy garlic ham and I like my meat thinly sliced that's just how I like it. I'm going to do both of the hams on each one. So one has 
So that's the spicy one, and then this is the maple can. Some chips. Good morning, y'all. Today is the day that I really get stuff done. Yesterday, I just <sighs> I be trying, I really be trying to like make the best out of my days. But when I be in a bad mood, I just been in a bad mood, and I've been having so many bad days, y'all. <sighs> but each day. I pull myself up and we, we, we try again. So today we're trying again. We're about to go look at an apartment. I think I told y'all yesterday I applied for an apartment. I just haven't heard back from them yet. So in the meantime, we're going to be proactive and we're going to look at more apartments. So I'm going to go look at an apartment. And then um, at 6 o'clock, I'm going to go to the bar with Britt. So I'm super excited about that. And yeah, we got to unpack. We got to unpack, and it's just some other stuff we need to get done as well, so. Good morning. Mm. I'm here, I think. I don't think I'm in the right parking garage, but I'm here. <sighs> Let's go. Y'all, it's a ladybug. Like, I, I just can't make this up. And usually I'll be terrified right now, but I'm so happy to see this ladybug. <sighs> I got this when I went to go tour the apartments. They had like a bunch of things you can choose from. So I'm about to try this out. I've never had this before. I'm just tired of looking at myself, y'all. Chill, shake, serve. Smell like coffee. Mmm. -hmm. This is good. Wow. This is really good. Have y'all ever had this before? This is really good. It tastes like, it tastes like an adult chocolate milk. I'm here at Trader Joe's because I want to get some flowers. I just feel like fresh flowers in our house because I also still have not cleaned up y'all. So I want to get some flowers. Just put me in a good mood, you know? So yeah, they have some peonies. Mm, I don't like the way they look though. Like, look at this. I really wanted to get something different, but it's it's giving tulips. Really want to get something different. Mm. All right, so I bought a bunch of different flowers. We're gonna try to figure it out together. Dial is not in service. Please what? check the number and dial again. Or dial 611. I'm trying to call Smoothie King to make sure they have these acai bowls before I pop up. And what do you mean their number isn't in service? I've never been over here before. There's like a Marshalls over here, LA Fitness. I've always like wanted to come over here but never had a reason to. So I'm glad I get to finally go over here. Waiting for me to be able to turn. By the way, I started carrying my new bag and I absolutely love it, y'all. Absolutely love it. I also came to Marshall's first just so you know I can look and then go on about my business, eat my food. I definitely prefer TJ Maxx over Marshall's, but sometimes Marshall's have things too. They have lots of different crocs here. These are cute for my nieces. These are so cute. Sure. Lots of Crocs. I'm not going to get any more, but they got plenty. 
Oh, but I am going to get these. How much are these? $12.99? Yeah, I've always wanted to try these, but I didn't want to spend like the 20 something dollars. So I am going to get these. Summer is coming. It is hot out here. Oh! Yes, this is the one I got right here. These are the different ones. Y'all should have been screaming through the um screaming through the camera telling me to order online. I had to wait so long, y'all. That place is that place is popular. I had never been there before, but I did get a smoothie because I just wanted to try it, and <sighs> that's a lot of smoothie. I don't know why they won't make them in like kid sizes, but whatever. Let me show y'all the bowl. This is what the bowl. This is what it looks like. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try it out. See if it's better than clean juice. Clean Juices has bananas, and although I'm not like a huge banana fan, I don't mind the bananas, you know what I mean? This one just has the strawberries and blueberries. It's definitely good. It's good. And it's sweeter too. I don't know why it's sweeter, but it is. I'm not like head over heels in love, but I was going for something like kind of wild looking. So I got a bunch of different types of flowers and I think it's, I mean, it is what it is. We got some tulips, some of these, some eucalyptus. So that's what it looks like. Look at this huge mess. Hey y'all, so it is 4.29. I am about to do my makeup. So much for us doing our makeup together. I'm finished and I really don't like my makeup. I feel like just because I don't have all my products, some stuff still packed away, I did what I could. <laughs> I did what I could. And my hair, kind of getting over it a little bit. It is what it is. I'm gonna put some earrings on. I still got so much time. It's 5.41, well not that much time, I got an hour. I'm debating whether or not I want to Uber or drive. So yeah, I'm debating on whether or not I want to Uber or drive. I guess it just really depends on the price of the Uber because it's really not that far from me. But I do want to like have a few drinks. So more than likely, I'm just going to Uber. Yeah, I'm probably just going to Uber. It's a lash in my eye. Y'all, I've been meaning to say yes, it's since yesterday. So yesterday, Sephora announced their like... Sephora squad finalist and I was not picked. No worries. I am okay. <laughs> I am okay. Like I'm not sad about it. I'm so happy for um the people that were picked. I only knew two people that made it to the finalist, which was well, I don't know them, but you know social media. <laughs> I design A and um Octavia B. They both made it to the finalist, and it was a bunch of other like black creators and other creators too but those are the two people that you know I was familiar with their faces so I'm so happy for them I hope they make it all the way through and yeah like I said I'm not sad about it I, I just got so much other stuff going on honestly y'all to where I don't even think I I don't even think 
I don't have time to be sad about it. I got other shit I'm sad about, you know, to be honest. But yeah, so I'm so happy for them. It is what it is. I am so hungry. Like, so hungry. I am dreaming of this burger. They have, like, the best burger, y'all. It's so good. It comes with, like, this fried egg on top. Chef's kiss. I think I am going to Uber there. Because I can't be bothered. I just can't be bothered. I want to be a backseat princess. So, yeah. I'm about to just throw some clothes on. And we're going to get ready to head that way. Alright. So, outfit is very... Y'all are sliding. Mm hmm Anyways. Well, no. Because y'all... So can y'all kind of see the outfit? It's just this black crop top with my army fatigue pants. I'm gonna carry my new bag. Um, yeah. And then the little pouch thing I was telling y'all about. I could put my lippies in. I already have so many lip glosses in here. I got my wallet. I just really like this purse. So cute. Alright. Alright, so if we're going to Uber, we might as well take full advantage and take a little shot. I got this Trader Joe's pineapple juice that I want to try to and also let me see if I need to go ahead and call the Uber at 622 seven minutes away yes I'm going to call it find me a ride find me a ride ride requested locating your driver Five minutes away. I'm not gonna lie, this man look a little, a little sketchy. But he done did 4,297 trips and he has 4.98 rating. So I doubt if he wants me. <laughs> like, I, I seriously doubt if he's gonna risk his Uber career for me. So we good. We are going to take a shot out of the San Diego. Go, 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 go. Cheers to finding somewhere to stay. <laughs> this BDK Grease Charnel is the scent of the night. Mm. It smells so good. It's subtle though. And personally, y'all just gonna keep sliding. My, I need to get like a stronger tripod because what's happening is this lens is too heavy for the tripod. That's why y'all keep sliding. But that Grease Chanel, it, it's nothing I would tell y'all like, oh my God, y'all need to go out and buy it right now because it's not one of those type of scents. Child, where's the Uber at? Three minutes, two minutes. Ooh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Doesn't matter where or when they show If you just call my name Can't possibly Call me on the cell phone Late night when you need my love Call me on the cell phone Late night when you need my love
morning. I am um, getting myself together. I unpacked my suitcases. I'm washing clothes. I gotta take this dog outside. Um, today's gonna be kind of like a busy day. Heyday invited me to get a facial at 120 today. So we're gonna go get a facial from Heyday. I'm super excited. They opened up a new location in Buckhead. So we're gonna go there. I'm gonna create some content for them. I'm gonna get a facial. So that's gonna be nice. I'm also working with um, a brand and I have to create a TikTok. So I have to do that today because it's due tomorrow. So your girl just got some stuff to do. But I'm happy I did get up and like straighten up a little bit. So, so things aren't like too crazy and in disarray. And the flowers actually look better today, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. The tulips are starting to stand up and like bloom a little bit. So it's cute. Like I'm not mad at it. Your yeah, girl. Oh my God. Hold on. I bought this at the beginning of the vlog from Publix. These are some spicy noodles with cabbage, onions, and spicy sauce. <sighs> so you can put it in the microwave, girl. You say you can put it in the microwave or you can put it in the oven. Let me see what type of like, packaging is given. I'm probably gonna put that in the microwave and then these I'm going to air fry. This chicken looks really good. Like, can't wait to taste that. These noodles, they look kind of questionable. But we're gonna try it. Let's try the noodles first because I just know that chicken gonna be busting. They had like, they got a bunch of different stuff. They had like fried rice and lo mein and different stuff, but this is what I chose. Mm -mm. This is not bad. <coughs> got a little kick to it. Honestly, y'all, they kind of taste like ramen. It's chicken. Mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. That chicken fire. Just looking for basic uh, rental requirements. They want to see about 180,000 plus per year coming in between both applicants or just one. Okay. And About what time tomorrow are you going to show the property? Uh, I have an 11 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, so anytime, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or so. Okay. Is this a number I could text? Yes, ma'am. This is my cell. Okay, so I can just text you a little bit later today to let you know what time works for me. Okay. Yeah, just, um, yeah, probably, yeah, maybe noonish or so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just let me know what works for you. I'll send you over a text once we get off the phone to so see have it in reference. Okay. Uh, it's a brand new community, so I've been kind of guiding people. Um, if you look up the community name, it'll bring you to the address of, and you can get into the neighborhood and be like, oh, okay, there's only like 70 homes in there. So it's really easy to navigate once you get inside the community, but it, it's not pulling up at that address on Google Maps. Okay, so in your text, you can just send me the um, community um, name? Yes, ma'am. I'll, okay. I'll send the instructions. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Okay. No problem. I'll, I'll uh, text you once I get off the phone and then yeah, just let me know what time's good for you. And uh, um, I work off of Google reminders. They kind of save me a lot. <laughs> That would have been the perfect, full, brand new property. Everything's brand new. Nobody ever stayed in Like, gorgeous. And then he says, no dogs allowed. Now, I know sometimes when people find, like, their perfect home, they'll, like, give their dog away. Excuse me? Babes, my dog is my, that's my child. 
And I, I spent a lot of money on that doll. He was almost $4,000. I don't know if I ever told y'all that. But yeah, he was almost $4,000. I spent a lot of money on him. And regardless to the money spent, I love him. I could not. I honestly, like, I, like, it could be the perfect home. If no dogs are allowed, that's not the perfect home for me because my dog, what? Like, just look at him over there sleeping. Imagine me giving my baby away. <laughs> um, open concept with the living room, the kitchen, and then there's a half bath on the main floor. Okay. On the third floor, there's two more bedrooms. That's where the primary suite is, and those both have ensuite bathrooms as well. And that's where you'll also have the washer and dryer. And then on the fourth, because I, 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 I love you, you are my girl. See. I, Cause I love you You are my girl Here's the after skin Looks really really good y'all I wasn't able to Record the process For y'all But if you follow me on Instagram then you'll see it I just kind of like recorded it on Instagram To make like you know some content I'm tired <laughs> to make some content for them on Instagram. But I really, 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 really enjoyed my facial. I don't even remember what I was just saying, but facial was really, really good. I really enjoy getting my facial. If you do go there, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my stuff. If you do go there, I went to Danica. Yeah, I'm about to go to Starbucks to get me something to drink. I kinda want another acai bowl, y'all. I really like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna just place me an order to buy all the stuff I need because those things add up but yeah I keep trying to call my mama to see what she wants for Mother's Day Mother's Day is coming up actually when y'all see this it will be Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there all the mom figures um Everybody who takes on that motherly role. Happy Mother's Day. This is what I meant to tell y'all. Let me put my car back in park. She did. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all know y'all put your car in park and you take your foot off the brake and it kind of move a little bit. That shit be scaring me. She did say my skin was dehydrated and she recommended me to use a hyaluronic acid. I think I told y'all we was going to Starbucks, but instead we're gonna go to Dunkin'. Because the last time I went to Dunkin', I got that refresher with that green tea. That shit was busting. So we're gonna get that again. We're gonna get that again. We're gonna run that back. We're gonna do a wrap around. I'm sure it's a hey, can I get a large raspberry watermelon refresher made with green tea? Made with green tea? Yes, ma'am. Baby, don't play with Dunkin'. Look, look how big this damn drink is. Five dollars. Five dollars and um, I forgot. <laughs> okay. I hope it tastes good like the last one I had. Starbucks. Starbucks ain't even got a cup this big. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Too good. I'm back home. So I had two packages. I'm pretty sure this is my Hermes slide. And this one is from super good because it says it i feel like i get packages from super good every week at this point closer to it's time for me to move i have so many products y'all but closer to like me moving i'm just going to be doing giveaways of all like the products because i have so many products sunscreens just a bunch of different stuff from different brands. Ooh, 
Not an SPF hat. Period. I don't play with super glue. And it fits. Period. Mm. <laughs> That's actually cute. This is every single day face watery lotion. This is super play everyday lotion with sunflower extract and SPF in it. This is a glow stick. I seen somebody use this and I was like, I've never seen this before. This is the glow stick. More unseen sunscreen. And then, oh, is this like a little baggy? So this is like a little, say if you have like a picnic, which y'all know, you girl love a good picnic. <laughs> This would be so cute on the picnic. It says super goop. And then on the back it says SPF. I'm going to make some content for them. With that stuff. Because it's super cute. And then. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Mm. Hello. Hello. What's up? Same shit, mm. Mama told me you was crying in class because they was yelling at you. I was not crying. Huh. Why was they yelling? I'm back, y'all. To show y'all Z shoes. My sister had called, so I had um talked to her, but I'm gonna show y'all. I'm kind of sleepy chin. Take a look pit for the thumbnail. Oh. Get a little, little shake, shake. All right, this off. This is a shoe I got. So cute! I tried these on in the store, and I loved the color. Looks so good on my complexion. Look how, y'all probably can't even tell how big this shoe is. This is a big shoe. <laughs> it's really cute, like with some jeans and a shirt. It's really good. Everyday slides. Don't mind me, y'all. I am sitting here writing down this. I need to start doing this more when I work with brands. I'm basically like writing down everything I want to say. So I'm working with um, Milk Makeup and I'm creating, um, a TikTok that I'm also going to use as a reel on Instagram. So I'm just writing down like how I want to start it off. So how I want to do this is basically I want to like start off the reel with my makeup already done. So I'm going to start off by saying, would you believe me if I said I'm on it? No. Would you believe me if I said I wasn't wearing foundation? So that's like the hook. My face is going to be B. I'm going to be looking good. So that's going to be like the hook. And then I'm going to say, this is my go-to summer look, only using concealer. Yes, only concealer. And then I'm going to be like, Milk Makeup has come out with their Future Fluid all... Milk Makeup has come out with their Future Fluid all of concealer. Why do I write that? Let me make sure I put that right. What is it called? Um, I think it's all over. Yeah, all over. Okay, so I had a... My bad, y'all. I'm glad I seen that. Okay. So, let's start over. Would you believe me if I said I wasn't wearing any foundation? This is my go-to summer look, only using concealer. Yes, only concealer. Milk Makeup has come out with their Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer, and it's bomb. And then I'm going to go into, like, some specs. I'm going to say, this concealer comes in 30 different shades. It has ingredients like hyaluronic acid, caffeine, and aloe vera. Then I'm going to say... 
This has only this has been my go-to concealer because it's super blendable and non-cakey, which is true. And then I'm going to say this this concealer is immediate add to cart. So grab your future fluid concealer and make sure to tag me in your looks using it. But right here, while I was just reading a brief, I need to say something about like where they can get it from. For this real, I only need like three brushes. Probably just these three right here. So I'm gonna use this Sephora Daily Brush Cleanser to like try to clean them. Look at that. It's coming clean already. I was watching Platinum Z. Let's see. Or a post little bottle of little pop. This is from Hey Girl Designs. I know exactly who this is. I used to work with her all the time. It's a super nostalgic. Wait. I just uploaded my like part two of my Miami trip. So I'm sitting here responding to comments because y'all said I'm gonna be responding to comments. Uh. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> y'all look so funny. I love y'all. So close to this damn camera. I pulled my hair back in this pump. Y'all, it's 806. I still haven't recorded this damn milk thing. This is the concealers, by the way. They sent me three different shades. So this is 25. This is 25C. I love the applicator. It's super like pointy. So that's 25C. Why y'all ain't tell me a boogeyman was coming out? Excuse me? June 2nd, I have to go see that. And it's so crazy because I love a good, like, suspense and scary movie. And I'm so scared. Like, sleep with the lights on at night scared. <laughs> it's crazy. But I have to go see that. I have to go see that. I follow my mama's church on YouTube and they on live right now and my mama is talking. You lied about something that's already yours. When we start compromising a little bit over here, a little bit over there because you know we don't want to let trees from kindergarten go. No, we're not nasty. You know it don't mean you don't love trees. You know you and trees, y'all don't love each other, but trees ain't right now. trees but i got to go on with god and trees see me live for god god gonna draw trees i'm gonna keep crying i love her just that much i'm gonna keep praying for trees you know and when people see us living consistently um y'all not back and forth coming down good morning this vlog was supposed to end i'm gonna put my new shoes on this vlog was supposed to end yesterday. Last night did not go as planned. Hold on, y'all. Y'all slide. I don't even care. But it's early in the morning. Today is the day that um, Mugler and h and collection go live online and in store. The only store in Atlanta is getting it is, surprise, surprise, my local H&M which is Atlantic Station so I'm about to pull up I think the store open at 8 hopefully I can get like a good parking spot in the front and this is a prime example of people wake up for what they want to wake up for because y'all know I don't even get down with the early mornings but it's my turn but girl I'm wide awake drinking a fucking Celsius it's 7.06 on the way to H&M. Okay. 
Honestly, it's not even much I want from the collection. I did see a really nice, like, structured blazer. And then he had, like, this corset sweat hoodie, sweatshirt hoodie that looked really, really cute. So, yeah. Um, we're just going to see about that. Can I make this light? Mm -hmm. get up early anyways today y'all because y'all remember that content that's due today for milk i started recording that shit last night and i was just like mm, yeah no i'll just do it tomorrow because things didn't go as planned last night and my energy hadn't got kind of low by the time i could really sit down and record it and i was just like yeah i'm gonna do this tomorrow when i'm you know i'm fresh my energy is on 10. nobody gets me Why are y'all going dead? That's the devil. That's the devil for real. Y'all, I'm anxious. Like, I'm at the light getting ready to turn and I'm just like, man, I hope I get a spot. I hope I get a good spot, man. I just feel like if y'all don't be, if y'all don't be shopping at H&M, don't try to shop at H&M now. And I, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of pressed because I don't understand why I didn't get an email from H&M telling me oh the light just turned <laughs> okay um, let's see what it's giving bro there's people oh hell no cause what the fuck there's people <gasps> it's not a lot of people though but I, I gotta go back around I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go get those spots I just seen. Fuck, 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 fuck. But what I will say is, what I will say is, I ain't, I ain't get a good look. I ain't see nobody big in that line. So we ain't going for the same things. We ain't, we ain't going for the same things. Cause you be, I'm you little and I'm big. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm part right here. I ain't here. I ain't paying no meter. I ain't doing none of that. Hop out. I've never been to Florida. Look at all the workers. Very excited. I got my wristband. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's talk about that experience. I'm so hot. Hold on. I need air. You know how like you have that like burst of just adrenaline when you leave the gym and you just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's how I feel. So um some things I had to get in the extra large, some things I were able to get in the extra extra large, some things I just got because I wanted to try on. So yeah, um, I know I'm not keeping every single last piece only because like, it's just inevitable that something's not gonna work. I would love to keep every single last piece, but I just know it's gonna be something that does not work. Like the one thing I really wanted was the earrings and the, um, can I go this way? Yeah, I can go this way. I wanted those earrings and I really wanted that blazer. I wanted the corset blazer too, but it was sold out. Well, it wasn't sold out. They, all my size is gone. So, I got the other blazer that I really wanted, but in the extra large. So, if the extra large fit, then I'll be good with that. But if the extra large don't fit, then I'll be on their site come 10 o'clock. But I cannot wait to get home to show y'all a haul. 
of all of my stuff it was just so it was such a good experience because one thing i like about waking up early and being like in crowds like that it's like y'all all here for the same reason you know you woke up early because you're excited about this collection just like i am so we're all just talking chatting saying what we want this that and the third it was like a corset hoodie that i didn't see in my size so I'm gonna be looking online for that, but I did see the hoodies and they look like they had no stretch at all, so that might not work. Y'all, tell me why I was just walking into my apartment building and I turned around, I had the bag on my shoulder and this girl was like, wait, where did you get that from? And I was like, Atlantic Station. Like, um, the shopping started at eight o'clock. She did not know and I felt so bad, but she got, she got 56 more minutes. She was telling me the stuff she wanted from offline. I hope she get everything she want, but we, me and you, we about to do a haul. All right, I just know that the New York stores went crazy. And I know they had like more than one location that offered the collection. Okay, so it's haul time. I look so dark. Mm, haul time. First and foremost, the whole experience was so good. All the workers were so nice and just helpful and just, it was just a really good experience. And I love how they let you keep all the hangers. Y'all, I didn't look at the price of nothing. I just grabbed what I wanted and we'll deal with it later. So, the first thing I got is this necklace. When I was, I was looking at this necklace online and it really wasn't doing nothing for me and damn it. I might have to take this back because I didn't even realize the closure is a clasp. And y'all know, y'all know I usually have to like adjust my necklaces and with that clasp, you can't adjust it. But look at that. So pretty. Talk about a statement piece. Please, y'all can keep the Bottegas. These will do it for me. These are so cute. The next thing I picked up, which I said, they let you keep the hangers for everything. So. I have the hanger, it's this shirt. This shirt was $50, $49.99. And it says glare on it. Now, this dress, I didn't, I don't even know how, we're gonna have to try this on. I don't even know how this go, y'all. It just looks so cute. And it got like these gloves to it. And it tied around the neck. Like it was giving all the drama, like all the drama. This is an extra, extra large. And this dress was $150. Oh, so this is how it's supposed to look on the, this is how it's supposed to look. So cute. It's just like a kind of like an off the shoulder shirt. And it has off the shoulders and it has like this bando cutout. And it's in this lime green color. Okay, y'all can see it a little bit better. This look really cute. And it's like a thong. Mugler leggings. They're like all oh, mesh, y'all. Oh, and they're footed. I didn't even realize they were footed. So I, I don't know, but we're gonna, we gonna see. I love this dress, but it's so short. It's in this beautiful cobalt blue color. Wonderful material, but y'all, it's so short to where I don't even know. This dress was $200. The best part is this blazer. I need to try this on right now. This blazer was $300. It's so tight. This blazer is so tight. Honestly, it's the lining in the inside of the blazer. I picked it up because I thought it was cute. This was $300 too, god damn. But this is like a classic Mugler, like come on now. And it says Mugler back here. And it was just so cute, like it was, I was, I was looking at this and this boy was looking at this too. And I picked it up, like this wasn't the time to be shy Chelsea. Quiet chest. So I was like, sorry. And the last thing I got was like this corset top, which is really cute and structured. Girl, it's 10.03 and it still has not refreshed. I just had to Google was Atlanta Eastern Standard Time because what's happening? Like, what's, what's going on here? Let's see if you want to sponsor lunch today. Hello? What you doing? Uh, just got an eight rolls from the cafeteria. What's wrong? I was trying to see if you was trying to sponsor my lunch today. What are you 
what you want? I want to go to that crab place um, in Atlantic Station. Oh, you like that place? I kind of did. I kind of like how the noodles was in the bag. I kind of like the sauce. I feel like it kind of messed my stomach up, but... Yeah. Huh? They don't go together. I think I kind of liked it. Okay. What you need? I need to do my edges first. Okay, so let's talk about something, y'all. Let's talk about being a content creator, not having management, trying to negotiate your own deals, um, not feeling worthy. I kind of feel like I'm going through that right now. And I only, like, I wasn't able to, like, identify my edge brush is so nasty. I wasn't able to really identify these things at first, but when you start, like, when you get, like, in some friendships with other content creators and you're able to, like, talk to them and ask them, well, what would you charge? Because that's what happened to me. So, I had this brand reach out to me, um, and I've worked with them before, and they wanted me to basically go to this pop-up event, create content, and post it, and, you know, so what's the budget for that? Going to the event, posting it on, um, making one reel, but posting it on TikTok as well. Like, what's the content? And one of my friends was saying this big number. And I was just like, you want me to tell these people that much for this? Because in my mind, I'm like, this is something. If I was to go to this event, I would create the same content they wanted me to create for free. Because I enjoy doing that. It's so difficult, like, when you really enjoy doing something, having to put a price on it. And I feel like if I was under management, it would be easier because I could just tell them to say that price. You know, I don't have to deal with them coming back saying it's not in budget or I don't have to deal with none of that, you know? I just, I don't know, it's super scary. I don't know why it's so scary to just say your price because if they, it, most times what happens is if they don't agree with the price, they'll come back with another price. And then if you agree on that price, then it can just go like that. So I just don't know why it's, I don't know if I'm the only one to be feeling like that, but I'd be so nervous to say like huge numbers, you know? And it's because I guess I do ultimately it boils down to me feeling like I'm not worth this amount because not necessarily I feel like I'm not worth this amount but I just feel like it'll cost me nothing to create the content but I'm really trying to switch my mindset because this is my job at the end of the day you know this is how I pay my bills so although this is something easy for me to do if they're paying take the money you know what I mean so I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to understand that and grasp that. Right now, I do have a management company in my DM that want to work with me. I'm just trying to do a little bit of research on their agency, see who all, um, I was familiar with one girl that was under their agency and, you know, we're internet friends. So I DM'd her, asked her, like, what did she think about the agency, blah, blah, blah. But I just feel like this is really turning into a business for me and I'm I'm starting to need someone to like speak on my behalf because I don't want to do it. Like it's not that I can't do it because I mean I can do it and ultimately I'm going to have to email this company back and tell them a price but it's just that I don't I don't want to do it. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't necessarily know if it's because I feel unworthy or if I just feel like, oh girl, I don't, like, don't worry about it. That won't cost me nothing, which I would never say. <sighs> and my friend was like, yeah, they need to pay for an appearance. And I'm like, an appearance? Who am I? You know what I mean? <sighs> mm. I don't know, y'all. If I have any content creators who can, you know, just conversate with me. Let me know, like, how y'all feel about this. Do y'all have, like, difficulties when it comes to, like, seeing your price to brands? 
Or are you the type of person that's just like, oh, this is my price. Like, do what you want with it. <laughs> Let me know. Because I, I oftentimes find myself, like, hesitant to say, like, oh, yeah. Because it's like thousands on top of thousands on top of thousands to make a reel. And then it's like, yeah. 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 So I <laughs> also y'all we've we've reached the point. I'm I'm tired of my hair, however, comma. <laughs> I can't take it out because I can't be bothered. Like I can't be bothered with trying to put a wig on every day or whatever. So we're gonna rock these braids. Alright y'all. Not even gonna lie. To only have concealer on, like I only have on I have on two concealers. I have on these are the concealers right here. I use 27W under the eyes. And then like for my cheek area, I use 29N. Set it with a little bit of powder. This spray. Love this. I use that spray. And boom. And boom. And boom. So I'm about to go edit this content real quick. It's 218. So yeah, I'm about to edit it. Which that part is the easy part because... It's just a reel, you know, it's less than 60 seconds for real, so. <sighs> I'm about to go do that. Day is a cleaning day. I have to get back on track. Like, I, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to. I have to. I've been living in these days of just like, nothing, like just living. Not making my bed, not really lighting candles and things, just, you know, just not being me. So I need to get back to that. Like, I need to clean my apartment for real. Um, yeah, we, we gotta get stuff done. It's a sink full of dishes, girl. And them dishes been there all week. I, I can't even lie to y'all. Me and Dion just been walking by looking at that sink full of dishes I think I'm gonna wash them though I'm gonna go ahead and wash them but yeah they, they've been all week I tried this new Celsius this is sparkling mango passion fruit I tell you all the time I don't like mango but one of my favorite Celsius is like green tea and mango and it's so good so I'm gonna try this out I think I told y'all today Friday. So happy Friday. What y'all doing? What y'all plans for today? What y'all getting into? I ain't got nothing going y'all. I'm thinking about some content ideas because uh, I think that was a piece of hair. My sister dog shed. I picked him up yesterday and I was like holding him. I put his ass down. I had on a black shirt. Hair all over my um Sure, we're gonna have to give him a bath and brush him out real good. Cause... Surprise, surprise, they didn't get the trash last night, so I'm gonna have to leave this out here because I need my trash can. So much trash. just been sitting on the counter because they don't be coming to get the damn trash. Be quiet. I'm coming. God damn. Come on. Mm. Sebastian. I can't see your eyes. Mufasa. What bullshit you want today? Hi guys. <laughs> huh. I'm sitting in this room amongst all this shit, man. I swear. Oh, I didn't even show y'all I got that. I gotta show y'all that while we're down here. But I need to. I, I know y'all tired of hearing it. Like, I just know y'all tired of hearing it. But I really need to clean this room. Like, because the thing about it is when the room is clean, it eats. Like, it looks so good and 
it's never been 100% clean to where I could show y'all like the tour I've promised y'all since I moved here two years ago. <laughs> it's <sighs> I, whatever. Plan to start cleaning it today. We'll see. Let me show y'all what we got. I got, I've had this since um I got back from Miami. Mm-hmm. Now who I'ma play with? I don't know, cause I think you need four people. Well, you probably don't have to have four people, but I think that's how you do it. So we got Risha Roulette. That's how the room like it is. Risha Roulette drinking game. Period. And I know y'all can see some of my surrounding, but whatever. Fight me. It's my room. Um, let's get this. Oh. Okay. So it comes with four shot glasses. That say Risha Roulette. Super cute. And then we got the cards. Ooh. Uh, it's a big deck. It's giving Uno. I don't know why I thought it was going to be like 20 cards. Okay, let's open one. Okay, I'm going to pull this one. It said, bitch, why did I pull the instructions? <laughs> let's try this again. I'm going to pull this one. I dare you. I dare you to show your titties right now or take two shots. My God. This would be so much fun. Imagine. Okay. Okay. Listen. 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 Imagine getting this car and you already like five shots in. You gonna show them titties. And it's not because you don't want to take no more shots. It's because you fucking live. You know what I mean? Let's pull another one. I was down here on the ground to actually show you um, these two packages. So, the Chanel sneakers that I got from Miami. When, well, when I got when I was in Miami. Y'all know. I feel like I have to talk about my big ass feet in every vlog. I got big feet. I'm a big girl. <laughs> Nah, that don't that don't mean nothing. Like people, it's big people that have small feet. But what I will say is, I'm not glad that my feet are big because I hate having big feet. However, everything go together. Like I, I got big hands. Like I'm just big. You know what I mean? Like it's not like whatever. Y'all don't give a fuck. What am I even talking about? Let me show y'all the shoes. Oh, I was saying all that because. Miami and New York are the only people I think that sells men Chanel sneakers. So here in Atlanta, I've tried on some women's, but they were just so tight and uncomfortable. And I wasn't willing to, you know, go through uncomfortableness for this amount of money or any amount of money. Really, I got the ones I wanted and I'm so happy about it. So I already unboxed them because I wanted to try them on when I got here, but... This is like the Chanel ribbon. And then it comes with two Chanel dust bags. And these are the ones I got. Ah, they're so cute. Like me with my little lemon set on and my Chanel trainers running the Target. Come on now. Don't, don't play with it. I really like that this part is black right here because usually the on shoes this part be white and it be getting dirty like it be looking like dingy especially since I don't really be wearing socks like that but I love these these are so cute I've wanted these sneakers for so long back when they were like $950 I don't even know how much these are oh they come with black shoe strings too y'all I fumbled the bag. <sighs> Y'all remember just yesterday, I think I was telling. <sighs> okay. I was just talking to y'all yesterday about like not having management and like talking through deals and 
blah, 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 all that yesterday. So today, well, early this morning, the brand I was telling y'all about that wanted to work with me, wanted me, I don't know what all I told you, I don't forgot. But the brand I was telling y'all about, I was like, I'm like, I was talking to some of my friends and she, they was telling me to charge a certain amount. And I was just like in my head, like it's no way I could tell these people all of this money. Like, what? Are you dumb? So what I did, I um, I told them like like the price my friends was telling me to tell them, I did like five thousand less than that. Why did these people just email me and say perfect, bitch? You, like, <sighs> I'm so mad because when they actually like agree with your bullshit. That's how you know you went too low. Hey y'all, we're about to go to this place called the Daiquiri Factory. I wanna go, but I didn't feel like getting dressed, so here we are. Go, in the room. You, that way. I don't know where my card is. Do you have my card? Yeah. These gray sweats. It's green shirt from Lululemon in my bag, and I'm gonna throw on my um Hermes slides. I guess I gotta go. I guess it's time to go. I gotta let you go. Oh, call me what you want. I I don't care, but. If I'm going somewhere like where I went, I don't want to go if they don't have hookah. We did not get hookah. Apparently, it's one of those places where, like, they do, like, the hookah outreach. So, there's a person selling hookah there. The girl never came, y'all. We got our food. We ate our food. We drank our drinks. I'm full now. I don't want no damn hookah. Well, I didn't have an option to even get hookah because she never came. Ugh!